as I travel over to my next landscape location. It's in the middle of the day, so I'm not expecting anything spectacular. The golden hour has long disappeared, and the sun is burning bright at around high noon. However, I still want to take advantage of the opportunity that is before me with this unusually epic day where the clouds are covering the entire valley below. Therefore, I want to try a couple of shots with my ND filter, do a few selfies for my stock photography, and most importantly, try to capture a nice panoramic shot of the incredible scene that I have been working with this entire morning. And as I arrive at my new location, I can't help but think about the epic morning I have had already. you could be here with me right now gosh the, I'm at another location here and you could just see the view behind me is just gorgeous and um, I've just been so blessed and rewarded today for coming out here uh, again this is in the San Bernardino National Forest and uh, just want you to have an opportunity to get outside with me this week I know we've all been cooped up a lot in 2020, so of late I've been trying to get out a lot more um, and just capture nature. Hopefully for those of you that watch this and aren't able to get out right now, hopefully this will be a bit therapeutic for you and you can enjoy uh, nature from my point of view. Hopefully it's okay. Hopefully you're enjoying this. Alright, so this is a composition I'm looking at right now. And it's just so beautiful out and uh, it's past the golden hour, but as you can see, the clouds on the mountain below covering the mountain peaks is just stunning. So I'm taking a few shots with a polarizer, a circular polarizer on, and I also brought I also brought my um, ND filters. I just thought I'd throw them on there and see what we can come up with that way. Uh, this might be the best composition here. What I want to do now is show you the difference a circular polarizer filter can make when you are capturing images with a bright blue sky. The first image here was taken without any filter at all. And as you can see, the blue sky looks a bit faded. And this is why it is important to have a circular polarizer. One of the many things a circular polarizer will enable you to do is turn a faded sky into a beautiful deep blue sky that will add significant visual weight to your images. Here you can see in this second image that when I put a circular polarizer on my lens, it deepens the blue in the sky and brings a better overall balance to my image. So right now I'm uh, still at this second location and uh, I took some shots with no filters on so you can see what that looks like and then I used a circular polarizer um, which I will show you those photos right now and and then um, 
I am now switching over to my ND filters and I'm using the ND Big Stopper. And I do plan on doing a tutorial on filters in the near future as well, especially to show you the filter system I use. But the ND filter, what that does is basically enables you uh, to take longer uh, exposures. In fact, let me see if, can I get this on? Okay, so as you can see, I have a Lee ND filter. It's a square, dark uh, glass filter that slides in and what this does is it enables it enables me to um to take longer exposures so that it even creates more movement in the clouds below and especially the clouds above i have my uh landscape lens my 16 to 35 millimeter uh lens on right now and i'm going to switch to my 24 to 70 because i want to zoom in over there on those clouds but i gotta hurry up so i'll be right okay back. i switched to my uh 16 to 35 lens millimeter lens and now i'm using my 24 to 70 and i'm going to put in my uh my lee nd 10 filter okay now that i have my nd filter in place i need to adjust the uh shutter speed and so um it's a it's a guesstimate lee filter has a really neat uh guide to help you but um, sometimes you have to uh, do a little bit of guessing and so right now i'm going to be on a four second exposure and let's see how that turns out oh, that looks good i think i'm going to try to let in a more a little bit more light i'm going to go to five second exposure and see how that goes go to eight second exposure I'm just playing around with it there's no super strict science here wow that was really heavenly <laughs> Now I am just uh, using my lens and capturing uh, this beautiful scene <laughs> without any filter at all. And I have it in manual mode, of course. Um, this Now I'm at uh, a shutter speed of 1 3 20th and I'm at F16. And let's see how that turns out. Okay. As you can see the histogram here, it's spiking in the middle and then there's a high spike on the left. The further left you go, the darker, as you'll see, the, the darker the image will get. So when it's spiking here, it means it's really over or underexposed. And then if you go this way, it is overexposed. And so the histogram, uh, when you get the spikes in the middle like this, it's uh, like this, it's really good because it's capturing a lot of information. Also, it's not bad to have a high spike over here, especially in landscape, because it does get some dark shadow areas. So, let's see how that looks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a little darker. Let's make sure I compensate for the very white clouds. Okay, and now let me just go this way as well, make sure I'm getting the blue in the sky. Go. Right. The final thing I'm going to do now is just take a panoramic uh, of this uh, area that I've been photographing. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out with the bright sun over there. I should have done it this morning when the sun was rising, but nonetheless, it's still beautiful and it could turn out quite heavenly. We'll see. Uh, and I'll show you how that turns out as well. Uh, but. With that being said, um, I am going to call this a day. And I'm gonna also, as, after I show you uh, these images here, I am going to finish the video with just showing you all the images, all my favorite images that I got today. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a, a blessed day, a blessed week. Um, please, if you like, uh, if you like this week's episode, can you, 
do me a favor and just hit the like sign and like button uh, down below as well as the subscribe. I'm really trying to reach a thousand subscribers and I'm just so thankful for all the support you all have been giving me. Uh, it's just been so encouraging. And so uh, anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this trip and uh, I hope to see you next week. And other than that, go out and capture the world. I wanted to escape for a while Thought that a couple of drinks could ease my mind I've been thinking of you for two weeks straight I know that I need to get myself back in the game Someone said your name had a ton of room Suddenly you're there standing in the crowd Everything comes back in the blink of an eye It's like you're mine, you're still mine Oh